So Cheryl, tell me about Frida Hartley. What do you do here? Um, okay, just a little bit of background um, of where the place started. The organization was established in 1922. It was for young girls who fell pregnant out of wedlock. Um, and that's because it was such a big taboo at that particular time. So they needed a place to hide and have their babies. But obviously, fast forward to now, it's not such a big taboo anymore. And our country is facing another pandemic, which is gender-based violence. And that's what we cater for. So we take in young women who are fleeing an abusive home situation, an abusive intimate partner, victims of rape, and anyone that finds themselves homeless due to socioeconomic issues. We're outside the Frida Hartley Centre and already it's what, 10 o'clock in yes. the morning, there's already a queue of folks who've come from nearby. Lots of goggles and children in the queue. Uh, Cheryl, please explain what do you guys do here every Friday? Um, so what we're doing um, is really just providing food security for uh, community members who have been struggling, especially because of the pandemic. So we cook a home cooked fresh meal um, just so that they can have something to eat. You know, we've had an overwhelming request of women, men coming through and asking us for food and toiletries. And uh, we would provide bread and soup at times but we just uh, thought that wasn't sustaining enough because some of them have said the meal that we provide is the only meal that they eat in a day. So we make sure that we provide yeah. something that is really sustainable. Sherry, you've got a long-standing relationship with Frida Hartley. Tell me about this home and this shelter. So the Diskin Foundation heard about this particular organisation through Prime Media actually a couple of years ago. And we came here and we saw the pure hopelessness of some of the women that were, were residents here. And when we came here and saw how these women were loved, how they were nourished, how their self-esteem is brought up because as a battered person, you, you do, you lose your sense of self-worth. And the Frida Hartley home really gives these women a sense of hope and a sense of worth, which I think is vitally important for someone to start over again and, you know, make something of their lives when they've been beaten emotionally so down that they don't feel that there's hope for anyone. And here is hope. This is a home of hope. So this isn't just about the Discam Foundation signing a big check. Every single customer who walks into a Discam can contribute to how you change lives. They do contribute because every time a customer purchases products in Discam and they swipe their loyalty card, a portion of sale goes into my budget, which allows me to work in organizations like this and help the people who truly need help. Um, pandemic or not, if these people need help and our customers allow me to do that. So.